Now, earlier we talked about the staff and and uh, what notes are written on, and and it seemed as though that you know it's it's just five lines. I mean, how how do you know what's a consistent way of uh, of starting your notes? I mean, how do you know if one note is A, the other note is G? You don't you don't know where to start. But luckily, people who are much brighter than I am. They came up with uh, some markers, I guess, for for the staff, and and uh, two two common ones are are called um, the the treble and bass clef. So treble and bass. C-L-E-F. Okay, and essentially a, a clef a clef is a sign placed at the beginning of, the, of a staff to determine the names of the notes. Uh, the, the clef gives the name to the note placed on the same line as the clef, and, and I'll show you in a little bit. But from this point on the staff, we can name all the notes above and below because we have that starting point. Um, yeah, well, let, let, me, let me write that out just uh, quickly. So it's just um, sign placed at beginning of staff. To determine the names of the notes. Okay, now that we have that down. Um, well, what exactly are the names of the notes? Um, well, you you have basically the first seven letters of the alphabet, and uh, I think that's uh, pretty easy to know. Uh, let me give you the quick r rundown of what those seven letters are. A, B, C, D, Q, F, <laughs> G. Um, anyways, so based on their position on the staff, they can represent the entire range of musical sound. So let me show you the staff again. It's like magic. Okay, so for the first one, the treble clef, um, this is the symbol that they use, and I'll try to do my best to uh, draw it out. Okay, that's a, that's a very poor version, <laughs> but nonetheless, um within within this uh this little circle here right this is the treble clef so within this circle which which one is this little tail pointing to it's pointing to it's pointing to the to the second line right remember cuz lines go up 1 2 3 4 5 so it's pointing to the second line so the note that you place on the second line is always g okay this is, so let's say this is the treble, and the note equals G. That is their starting point, okay? And for the bass clef, let's see, for the bass clef, um, I'll write this over here really quickly. This is going to be the bass, and, um, that symbol looks like this. So it starts on the second line. It's going to go up to the top. Come around to the fourth line and stop. And then you have a little, a little colon right there. So the line in between this colon, that is your starting line. And the note that's placed on this line is going to be known as F. 
So the base starting note is always F. Okay. So by using these two references, we can we can then locate the other notes on the staff found on the lines and in the spaces. So let's write all of them out re really fast. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's sort of just start over here. Okay. So um, for 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 the um, for the treble clef, sorry, you 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 work back. So this line somewhere here is going to have G. Let's work back because you count the spaces as well. So G before that you have F, before that you have E. So E is going to be on the inferior line. Um, so we'll 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 just do the lines for now. Then we'll then we'll do the spaces. So E skip G B. D and F. Now for the spaces, it's obviously going to be the ones in between. So over here, it's going to be F, A, C, E. Okay. So let's write those out. So E, G, B, D, F, and F, A, C, E. That spells face. Well, that, that'll be helpful in, in a little bit. Okay, so for the bass clef, let's work back down again. So this is going to be somewhere over here, probably here. Um, it's going to be F, skip E, go to D. Right. Skip C, go to B. Skip A, and you go to back around to G. Right, it starts over from G. Um, so after F, skip, skip G, go to A. Okay, and for the spaces, it's everything in between. And we will have A, C, E, G. Okay, let's write those out again. This would be G, B, D, F, A, and A, C, E, and G. Okay, now last little quick uh, tidbit. Uh, first of all, when you're writing out the notes, never include the notes on, uh, on, on the bottom. That just makes it look uh, messy. But this is just for your reference, right? So. There are some mnemonics that you can remember what the notes order on the lines for a treble could be, what the note what the notes um, in order for the spaces could be for the treble. So all all uh, I guess all all four of these guys have a uh, different mnemonics that people use over the years. Um, and uh, I'll write those out quickly. Okay. Yeah. So sort of uh, cheated there just to save some time because I know I'm, I'm slowing down on this video a little bit but anyway so as you can see for the lines of the treble clef which would be uh, these guys right here the mnemonic you could use for that could be um, every good boy deserves fudge now, personally, I hate fudge, but that's just what everybody else uh, says. <laughs> uh, for the spaces of a treble clef, these guys, like I said, it spells face. You can easily remember that. I guess space and face, that rhymes. Um, the lines of a bass clef, which would be these guys. Sort of just uh, reword this phrase and say, uh, good boys deserve fudge always not never but always so spaces of a bass clef the last one's a c e g uh, a good one to remember for that one would be all cars eat gas ain't that the truth okay well th thanks for watching see you in the next video